Hi everybody, this is Sazam here uh, with the Singleman's Bakehouse. I'm one of the bakers. I'm, I'm here today to talk to you about our two wonderful uh, mills here. Um, these mills allow us to transform grains uh, into fresh flour. So here is some hard red wheat that's grown uh, for us in the Liduna Peninsula of Michigan. And here you're realizing that by freshly building this ingredient, we are able to really transform our, our main ingredient of the flour into something really flavorful and you can really actually then taste the difference. So this grain is made up of three components. Um, you have the, the bran on the outside full of minerals and then you have the starchy endosperm on the inside with some proteins as well which makes up for the gluten. And then also you have the germ, the embryo, that is full of vitamins and oils and um, basically all that's necessary for future life. When you uh, put this grain into this stone mill, what you're getting is all those three components all together into this wholesome flour. Again, full of the minerals and the vitamins and all those volatile oils that you can actually smell. That's what really captured me when I first started uh, doing fresh milling. The aromas were just intoxicating and, and they just, there was no going back basically. All right, so this is our 26 inch uh, stove mill. And um, the beauty of this mill is that, uh, one, it's locally made by New American Stone Mills uh, under, under here, as you can see uh, there as well. Uh, he's the main builder, and they're built in Vermont. And it uses granite uh, here, natural granite stones that are also quarried in Vermont. Um, Andrew designed these mills so that it really meets the needs of today's artists and bakers which, is looking, which are looking for really good quality flour. So here we have the hopper part uh, where I'm going to pour some grain in. The grain falls through here and it goes in between the two granite stones that we have here. And they both have uh, kind of rough sandpaper like surfaces and they have channels in them. Um, so the grain falls through here and travels th through those channels and as the top stone rotates uh, on the fixed bottom stone, the grain flows throughout those channels and then starts getting cracked. And then it gets onto the really rough surfaces and with this action it starts getting uh, sheared and ground into really fine flour. So, I'm going to turn this on. Now, I'm going to put this on, and the grain is going to stop freezing in. And the stones are at a setting where I know we'll, uh, the mill will produce nice, fine, foamy flour for us. So, when I press it, together like this and it clumps up. It tells me about how fine the flour is, but also it's also because of the, the oils from the germ are in there too, so uh, they add this, this other level of moisture in flour that you would not get from non-fresh flour. That you see, yeah? So, what do we do with this uh, freshly milled flour? We use it uh, in a lot of our breads. Um, we have, since we started milling back in uh, 2018, we have slowly but surely introduced it to many of our breads. We use it in our starters that we have been feeding for over two decades now. Um, breads like State Street Wheat, uh, the Fulcrum Broad, the Roadhouse, the Miche, uh, the Eight Grain PC Bread, and many of our breads use uh, freshly milled flour. So wherever there is a whole grain portion uh, in, in our bread recipes, we have substituted those flours with freshly milled flours, which you can tell, which we can tell add a lot of flavor. 
So we also use our uh, freshly milled flours in our pastries. Did you know that all of our cookies are made with freshly milled whole grain flours? Our carrot cake, brownies, and even blondies, which I think add a lot of depth of flavor to these wonderfully delicious goods. Another reason that's really important to us in uh, fresh milling is, is that it allows us to connect with uh, local farmers, other millers, uh, and in general with our community. Uh, we are able to directly, basically source our grains uh, from farmers um, and, and hopefully improve our local supply chain when it comes to this like, really humble food. If you want to, you know, experience freshly milled grains, uh, freshly milled flowers at your own home too, the cool thing is that we also sell all of our grains that we mill in-house and all of the flowers that we produce here um, through our bake shop as well. Uh, I always tell um, anybody who I talk to about freshly milled uh, flowers is, you know, imagine waking up on a Sunday morning and you want to make pancakes. I can guarantee you that uh, a cup of freshly milled flour will make a huge difference in those pancakes. You can, you'll really be able to taste the uh, difference after it.